foundation, Lenovo, you know? How do you keep what? your skin looking so good? Like, like water you, sh- and your business. you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, that's the solution. That's the trick. So it's time for our family interview. We've got a, one of my firm favorites. She's an oh. actress, an award, multi award winning actress, a dancer, a choreographer. She is a dynamite. Listen, can I take you home with me? Please help can me you welcome just in be studio. My Russia, come on up. <laughs> to ask Cooper Kumalo which was went straight yes, in. Yes, listen. I love that. Those Kumalo uh, cows went in the crowd. Yes. So we must acknowledge the Kumalo. And I, I like, like how you didn't double barrel. You didn't do none of no. that. No. Sometimes though, like um, I'm on a show called Still Breathing. Yes. Uh, that airs on the 27th of um, February now on Mnet. And on the poster it says Lorsha Cooper. And yes. I looked at it and I went to my husband and I was like, I'm sorry that that says Cooper. He's yeah, like, no, it's I'm okay. Like, You're my wife. Maybe that's what they wanted to write. Yes. So, but it is Kumalo, and I'm very proudly a happily married somebody's wife. I love that. <laughs> Mr. Kumalo is yes. a lucky man. Oh, I'm a lucky girl too. Of course. So and much. Uh, so you've been in a relationship with Mr. Kumalo for a long time? Uh, for two years. Two oh, and a half wow. years. Two and a half and years. And you just knew yeah. that you knew that you knew. You, I mean, you know, I think it's always a thing. People say when you know, you know. I think... It's about not just love, it's about compatibility, you know. I don't think that love ultimately is the sustainer. I yes. think you gotta you gotta make sure that, you know, you have things that you you visualize the same, that you're walking on the same path, that yes. if you need to compromise that it's not at your expense, yes. that instead of compromising you're adjusting. You know, so I think it's it's about really just looking at first yourself who are you where are you where are you going ask yourself that question for those yes. questions first so that when you do it go into partnership with someone that you can agree upon certain points so that growth can happen together so often i think in relationships we are looking to someone else to fix or direct us yeah and work really has to begin with you you know um and i feel like with my husband it's we work together we understand that we have a marriage but our marriage is a partnership just like any other partnership there has to be effective communication Mm -hmm. you have to be able to love that person despite being disappointed or angry or frustrated love has always got to be bigger and i've learned that too Mm -hmm. often we sit too long in the negative emotion but it's it's love that's got to be bigger yeah how did he propose um easily on our second date, he said, well, I think we're going to get married. And I was like, okay, well, let's. Ah, <laughs> done deal. <laughs> I mean, I think, um, I think it was, it was such a bizarre encounter because I was really done with relationships. Yeah. I, I was done. Yeah. I was like, I am going to be a single mom and I just, I'm just going to wait till my daughter goes to varsity. And then I'll start dating again because this thing is too complicated. <laughs> I also think as a single mom, mm-hmm. you are not looking to play the field. No. Do you know what I mean? Because like, then you have to introduce your daughter to all of ex- these people. Exactly. And for me, that's it's a quite a hard thing. It's actually, it's it's something that I've, I've thought about speaking about. Dating as a single mom mm-hmm. is a whole new world. Yeah. Also because as a single mom... I never wanted to leave my dinner and my daughter to go to a dinner date with someone. So my dating kind of used to happen over breakfast or a lunch. But I, I never yes. used to want to sacrifice time, time with away. her to waste on someone who wants to see if we're vibing. I'm like, what is vibing, dude? Like, look at me. Yeah. I'm not looking for vibing. Yeah. And my husband was not a viber. He was like straight. He just shot straight. He was like, listen let's do this let's do an exercise this was the most incredible thing he did actually he said to me um let's make a list of things like where you see yourself in five years what do you envision where do you see yourself going what do you expect in partnership what do you expect in marriage do you want more kids do you and we discussed actually the things that we should be asking at the beginning of a relationship so we don't go into it going oh we didn't ask that question. The I was like, geez, why question. didn't I do this 20 years ago? You would have you saved know? yourself so much time. Right? I know, but you know, every process is of necessary course, and you wouldn't have growth. met Mr. Kumalo. Yes, right. and my beautiful son, Kumo. So tell me, uh, we, we'll, we're we going to come back now and after the break, and I'm going to talk about um, how you take motherhood as such a prized you know, career. 
It's like it's like your biggest gig. Your biggest <laughs> yes. gig is being a mother. A her name is Lucia, Lucia Cooper. She's in studio right now telling us about her the great work that she's doing. You do not want to miss it after this. Yes. 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 Yes.